Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and in this tutorial we will use Illustrator's 3D effect to create a 3 bottle packaging. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Also, if you're interested in graphic design, don't forget to check out my website marieluciano.com. So let's get started with this new tutorial that I have divided in four parts. The first part, we are going to create the packaging template with real dimensions, one-on-one -on -one scale. Using this, you're going to create this second shape that you see here, which we are going to extrude and turn into this third image by adding the graphics and the bottle holes. At the end, we are going to import this third image to Photoshop, add the bottles, add a little bit of uh, uh, lighting and fixing it, and uh, creating the product simulation, which is this fourth image. Let's start with part one, create packaging template. This is what our end result will look like of part one. So open Adobe Illustrator and create a new A3 document. I am going to call it pack template. I am also going to set it to centimeters because this is how I prepared the measurements. And I'm going to set a vertical orientation. Here is our new docu document. Let's start by selecting the rectangle tool and creating the front part of our packaging. As I said, I have already uh, measured out the dimensions, so if you like, copy my centimeter measurements. This is the first rectangle, and I'm going to call it front. <coughs> but the front is um, composed by actually three rectangles. So I'm going to copy and drag this rectangle, unlock the proportion measurements, and just change the height of the second rectangle. Then I'm going to drag and copy again, change the height only again, and these three rectangles together compose our front. Then I'm going to drag and copy a fourth rectangle, change the height, and this is going to be our bottom. I'm going to drag and copy the fifth rectangle, and this is going to be our top. Now we're just missing the back. The back is exactly like the front, so I'm going to select the three rectangles that compose the front. Double click on the reflect tool, select horizontal, and click copy. Now drag our copied rectangles to the top, and these three form the back of our packaging template. We are just missing the bottle holes. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool and create a circle 4 by 4 centimeters. We will need three circles because the packaging is for three bottles. Also, we need to position these circles at a certain distance. So, since I've already measured this out, I'm going to create this rectangle where I insert the width which is the distance between the packaging cut and the bottle hole. Then I'm going to color it pink so we can distinguish it because I'm going to delete it afterwards. Align it with the packaging cut and then position the circle at that distance. I'm going to select the circle and the rectangle, click the reflect tool, uh, reflect vertically and copy, and then position it to the other side of the packaging. Then I'm going to select the circle, drag and copy, since we need three of them. Select all three, click on the align panel on the top bar, and select horizontal distribute center. And this is going to equally distance all three circles. Like I said, delete the two pink rectangles. Now select the ellipse tool. Create an ellipse, and if you like, you can insert the same measurements I'm using. Then we're going to select the rectangle tool and cover half of our ellipse. Select both of them, go to Pathfinder, 
and click on minus front and drag our shape use the direct selection tool to select the bottom two angles and pull that white little circle to round the angles we created this shape because we need it to create the holes on the bottom of the packaging where the bottle bottom goes through. Now like before I created this pink rectangle just because we need it to uh, align the bottle holes correctly. And select both of them, reflect tool, reflect vertically, copy, and then drag and copy a third one, select all three and align the distance equally just like we did before. Now we're going to select all three of them and the rectangle, select the reflect tool, horizontal, copy, and drag it to the very top, which is actually the bottom of the back of the packaging. Now that we've created all the parts of the packaging template that we need for this project, we can move to part two where we're gonna create the 3D simulation. We're gonna start with a simple shape and then we're gonna extrude it. Let's get started. So we created this packaging template for two reasons. One is we're gonna need it to create the graphics. And second, we're gonna uh, use the measurements to help us create the base shape for a 3D simulation. So select the three rectangles that form the front of our packaging. Go up here to transform and copy the height of all three of them put together. Then go to the rectangle tool, create a new rectangle, paste the height that we just copied, and insert the width that I am inserting because this is a new measurement that we have not used so far. And it's the width of the closed packaging once it's put together. So let's, this is uh, this new rectangle. If you put it next to these three rectangles that form the front, it has the same height for now. I'm gonna color it red so we know it's the uh, base shape to create our simulation or 3D simulation. Then I'm gonna select the top rectangle that forms the front, copy the height, and I'm going to select this red rectangle, copy, paste to front, change the color to pink so we can tell the difference, and change only the height, and paste the height that I last copied. Then I'm going to align it to the top. Then I'm going to copy the height of the rectangle on the bottom front, select the pink rectangle, drag and copy to the bottom, change only the height, which is the one that I copied from the packaging, and align to bottom. Now I'm going to select all three of these rectangles, go to Pathfinder, Unite. Now it's one shape, and it has these dots here added, these points, that we need to uh, create our shape. They are exactly where we need them. Now select the rectangle that forms the top of our packaging. Double click on the rotate tool, insert 90 degrees and click copy. Align this new shape to the center top of our pink rectangle. Select the top right and top left dots and align them with our new shape. Now you can delete the white rectangle. Select the bottom rectangle that forms our packaging and do the same thing. Make a copy a 90 degree rotation copy, align it to the bottom of our pink rectangle and move the bottom right and bottom left dots aligning it with that shape. Delete it when you are done. Now if we drag it here, we you can see why we had to add those dots because our packaging, once it's closed, that's why also it has three rectangles in the front because the top one and the bottom one are inclined. Now we just have to lower them slightly, so create a circle by using the ellipse tool. We're going to color the stroke green so it's more visible. Align the circle with the top line of the uh, rectangle that forms the top of the packaging. Select the two top dots with the direct selection tool. 
drag them down while holding shift to keep them in place. Now move the circle, bring it to the bottom. We are going to change uh, the radius of the circle, position it, aligning uh, the rectangle that forms the bottom of the packaging, select the bottom dots, both of them, with the direct selection tool, drag up while uh, holding shift. Now delete the circle. Okay, so now we have the shape that we're going to use as the base of our 3D simulation. Now that we have the base shape, we can go on to part three of the video, which is create the 3D packaging simulation. Create a new document. I'm going to select A4. I'm going to call it 3D simulation. Change it to centimeters. Choose a horizontal orientation. I only need one artboard and Create. I'm going to drag my shape onto the new document, select it, delete the stroke color, and only add a light gray for the fill color. Uh, then I'm going to go back to the packaging, select the rectangle of the front, copy the width, go back to my shape, select it, Go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel to open our 3D simulation box. I'm going to select Preview to have a preview of what's going on. Then I'm going to go to Extrude Depth and uh, paste the width that I copied earlier. Make sure centimeters is specified so now our depth corresponds to the width of our packaging. Up here you can select uh, the position of your 3D simulation. So go through them, choose the one that you like. I'm going to go with this one, and you can also cost customize them, obviously. I'm going to insert a little bit of perspective. I always do to make it more realistic. And I'm going to go to Cap, select No Cap, because we want a uh, hollow appearance meaning we want it empty inside because our packaging is empty inside. We do not want it full. Then, as I said, you can uh, customize the position, and when you're satisfied, press OK. So, uh, using the base shape, we've extruded it and created this 3D simulation. If you want to modify any of your 3D settings, you go through the Appearance box, double-click on 3D Extrude and Bevel, it will open the 3D Extrude and Bevel uh, panel, and here you can make your modifications. Also, if you click on more options, you can play around with the lights, highlights, uh, shadows. You can add a second, third, other lights, or you can just play around with the one. Uh, figure out what you like for your project, and when you are satisfied, click OK. You do not want to, uh, once you've added the 3D effect, you do not want to re-add a second 3D effect by clicking on the object, going again on uh, effect 3D because you'll be adding a second one. Yep. Now we can design and add our packaging graphics so that our simulation looks like this. Now it's like this. So we're going to get our packaging template again, and for each one of these rectangles, like three for the front, one from the bottom, one for the top, three for the back, each one, we're going to have to save a JPEG with the uh, related graphic. So this is where Photoshop kicks in. So launch Photoshop. I'm going to open the graphics for the whole packaging that I have already prepared. This is the graphics. I have overlaid the packaging template, as you can see. It corresponds to the one we created in Adobe Illustrator. I just overlaid it to my graphic. So, I'm going to, let's start by copying the center rectangle of the front. So, 
So since the front has three rectangles, I'm going to copy the center one, copy it, go to Photoshop, create new. When I create new, I'm going to set it to centimeters. It should already have the same centimeters of my rectangle set. I change the resolution to 300 and I go back to my pre-prepared graphics, turn on the packaging template, click on the selection tool and I select the uh, front rectangle, the center one, copy it, paste it onto my new document. And uh, save. I'm going to create a new folder where I'm going to save all of these parts of the graphic graphics that I'm going to need for my packaging simulation. And I'm going to call it front zero one since the front has three parts. Save as JPEG. Then I'm going to do the same with the rectangle always the front packaging with the top rectangle select it copy go to photoshop create new document select centimeters the centimeters of the uh, height and width should already correspond change the resolution to 300 go to my packaging graphics select that same rectangle using the uh, packaging template to select it. Go to my new document, paste. I can align to center just to make sure it's aligned perfectly to the center. And save, I'm gonna call it front CO2. And save as JPEG. Now, these two JPEGs are the only ones I'm going to save because they're going to be the only uh, ones with graphics that are going to be visible on my simulation. The other ones that have solid colors, I'm going to save through Illustrator. So see, the only ones visible are like four of them from here. So the top part and the bottom of the front are half solid color. They're all yellow. Instead, the other two have graphics, so I saved them as JPEG. So I'm going to go back to Illustrator, open, select the two JPEGs that I saved with the graphics. I'm going to select both of them and open. Now I'm going to drag them onto my file with the packaging simulation my document with the packaging simulation. So now I'm going to apply them to my uh, 3D simulation. How do I do that? I'm going to save them as symbols. So I'm going to select the first one which is front 01. Go to the symbol, go to symbols, click new. It's going to open the symbol option panel. I'm going to name it front 01, select graphics, and OK. As you can see, uh, my graphics my design was added to the symbol uh, panel box. So now I'm going to go to appearance, click on 3D extrude and bevel, which, how I said before, is how I make modifications on my uh, 3D effect. Then I'm going to go to map art. It's going to open the map art panel. And up here you can see surfaces. It only has eight because it's only showing the visible surfaces. I'm going to find the one where I need to add my front graphics, which is this one. Add the graphic to it, and you can resize it, turn it. I turned it. Then if you click on shadow, it will add the shadow from the uh, base 3D simulation. Or if you click on invisible geometry, geometry, you will only see the graphics that you added. Also, if you made a mistake or you want to change your design, your symbol, you just put clear and add the correct or the new one. When you're satisfied, click OK. And as you can see, my graphic was added to the surface that I chose on the 3D simulation. Now, I deleted the JPEG because I don't need it anymore. This other one is more tricky because it's got the holes on it. 
Go back to our document with the packaging template, open the layer panel, duplicate layer, and turn off the visibility on the previous layer. So let's work with our new copied layer. Now, we need to subtract our holes from the rectangles that form our packaging. So select the three shapes that uh, form the bottom holes. Uh, go to Pathfinder, Unite. Then we are going to select them, copy. Select them again with the rectangle that forms the uh, bottom front. Select both of them, go to Pathfinder, minus front. Then paste the front, so we have all three shapes again. Select them, now select the rectangle that forms the bottom of our packaging, and click minus front again on the Pathfinder. Now we're going to do the same, uh, select the three circles that form the holes on the top of the packaging. Go to Pathfinder, Unite, Copy. Select the three circles and the rectangle that forms the top. Go to Pathfinder minus front. Paste to front. We have the circles again. Select them. Now select the rectangle that forms the top front packaging. Go to Pathfinder minus front. So I'm just going to do these for now because these are the only ones I need. And also the front is, as la is exactly like the back. So I could just like flip it instead of uh, doing the same with the holes on the bottom of that. Now, copy uh, these shapes that we cut the holes out of and bring them to our new document with the packaging simulation. Now I'm dragging the shape that corresponds to the top front packaging over my JPEG image. I'm going to color the fill black, take off the stroke, select the JPEG and the black image, click on Control 7 to mask it. Then I'm going to select it, go to Symbols, click New. And as before, I'm going to create a new symbol. And I'm going to go to the uh, 3D Extrude and Bevel panel, go back to Map Art, find the uh, surface that corresponds to the top part of my front packaging, and add this new symbol to it, just like I did before. As I said before, these two shapes don't have graphics. They are solid yellow, so I'm just going to use these shapes that I created in Illustrator, color them yellow, and just like the other two, I'm going to add them to the Symbols panel by creating new symbol. So I'm going to add the top and the bottom part of the front. This bottom part I'm going to delete for now because you don't see the outside, you just see the inside. So now we have all the parts that uh, co cover the outside of our packaging. On the inside, I'm going to create and add a paper texture. So let's go back to the packaging template. The bottom, I need to add these holes on the other side of the bottom too. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy the bottom and rotate it 180 degrees or just flip it vertically. Then I'm going to lower these uh, two dots on the top and the bottom, select both of the shapes, go to Pathfinder, Unite. Okay, so now I have the shape for the bottom. I have the uh, shape for the back too because as I said, it's exactly like the front. I'm going to select all of these shapes and like I did before, I'm going to bring them to Photoshop and add the paper texture. I'm going to add the texture, save them each individually um, as JPEGs, and I'm going to import them into Illustrator just like we did before. And the shapes that have the holes in them, I'm going to take the Illustrator shape from the packaging template, bring it over the JPEG, color it black, put the fill color black, uh, delete the strokes, select both of them once they're aligned, and click Control 7 to mask. Then, once they're all ready like these, I'm going to select them one by one and add them to the symbol panel, just like we did before. Then, uh, once you're done adding uh, all the uh, new shapes, we go to Appearance, uh, we reopen the 3D panel, we go to Map Art, 
and uh, find each surface and add our uh, new images to the corresponding surfaces. Uh, like I did, uh, like I said before, select the shade, shade artwork. Uh, that way, it will add the shading from the uh, 3D simulation to our graphics that we're applying. Also, once we apply all of them, we can put invisible geometry because we don't need the base shape anymore. And also, if we put that, uh, we can see the holes that we added to our graphics. Adding this uh, last symbol here, rotate it. Okay, and we are done. Click OK. Now we can delete these uh, images that we used to create the symbols. And here we have it. We are finished with part three. We have the packaging simulation. We've added the graphics and the paper texture. Okay, so now we are finished with our packaging. We've created it. All we have to do is add the bottles and make like a photo composition. Uh, so let's open the bottle. It was also designed with Illustrator. If you do not know how to create this bottle, you can watch my previous tutorials. There are two of them on how to uh, design this specific bottle here. So I'm going to drag it onto the document with the packaging simulation. And um, I am going to do this photo composition into Photoshop. So I'm going to bring the packaging and the bottle in Photoshop and then I'm going to put it together. Let's start by expanding the packaging. So once we expand it, it is not editable anymore. So I'm going to open the layer panel, duplicate my uh, layer, turn off the previous layer, select the packaging 3D simulation, go to object, expand appearance. See, now it's expanded so we can select the uh, different parts, but we cannot edit it with our 3D panel anymore. So I'm going to select these four shapes that compose the back uh, of the packaging. I'm going to copy them and paste them into Photoshop. See, so here we only have the back, and I'm going to call it back. Then I'm going to select the three parts that compose the front. I'm not going to select the top for now. Copy, paste into Photoshop, and I'm going to position it aligned with the back of the packaging. Okay, and enter. I'm going to call this front. Now I'm going to copy the top, bring it to Photoshop, paste, and drag it into place. Hit enter. I'm going to name it. Now we need to insert our three bottles uh, into this packaging. Uh, but we're going to have to make a few uh, modifications and hide a few parts to make it look realistic. So let's select our bottle. Copy it, 
Actually, I'm going to use this bottle. It's the same bottle, only I'd already bought it into Photoshop and already kind of uh, modified it. So I'm going to drag it onto my document in Photoshop. I'm going to call it Bottle. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to bring it behind the front and the top, but uh, in front of the back. Okay. Now the bottle fits perfectly between the back and the front. The only thing is on the top, we have a part which is supposed to be behind the bottle and it's not. But we are going to fix this. Uh, now we're going to select the top part of the packaging, which we named top. We're going to add a layer mask to it. And we are going to select with our selection tool the uh, shape of the bottle and then always while staying on the layer mask of our top packaging we're going to select the brush tool make sure it's on black slightly lower the opacity of the brush and go over this little part of packaging which was over our bottle and uh, now we can deselect and our bottle is perfectly positioned inside the packaging. Now we're going to select the bottle layer duplicate, control J. We're going to move it over. See the bottle, the bottom of the bottle fits in the packaging hole, but it was covering our previous bottle. So we're going to drag the second bottle underneath the first bottle, the layer. Then we uh, select it and scale it down, move it over, position it. We're going to scale it down a little bit because we added the perspective to our packaging when we were creating it. And this way it looks more realistic. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing, select the shape of the bottle. a bit always after we've uh, positioned it and we know we're not going to move it anymore. So once you positioned it, you know you're not going to move the bottle anymore. Uh, we're going to select the bottle again because we need to cover that little piece of packaging on the top. So select the brush tool, make sure it's on black, and click on the layer mask, go over that little piece there the top packaging that is supposed to be behind the bottle and instead was on front. Okay, now we are going to create our third bottle. So let's select our middle bottle. Select our middle bottle, duplicate it and then uh, move it over and again you see uh, select transform and you can scale it move it position it however you want make it a little bit smaller when you are satisfied with the of the third bottle. Uh, we are going to select the bottle shape just like we did with the other two. Then we're going to select the bottle shape. Then we're going to click on the layer mask of uh, the top packaging layer. And with the Brush tool, color black. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit more. I'm going to go over this part of the packaging that needs to be covered by the bottle. I'm done deselect. And here we have it. Now uh, we are done with the packaging and the bottles. All we need to do is add a little bit of shadow, reflection, and uh, 
adjustment layers and we are done. Don't forget to save your project as you go along, or you could lose everything if your computer crashes. I'm going to close this bottle document because I don't need it anymore, and I'm going to group my three bottles into a folder. I'm going to call it bottles, and then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer, layer gradient map. I'm going to make it black and white, snap it to the folder with the three bottles, Change the blending mode to overlay and adjust the opacity. Then I'm going to select the back of the packaging and I'm going to go to layer styles, add inner shadow, play around with the settings, and um, since I am happy with the results, I'm going to add a little bit of inner glow and uh, play around with those settings. Then I'm going to do the same with the front of the packaging. I'm going to go to the layer style, add uh, inner shadow, and maybe some inner glow. Might add a little bit of drop shadow as well. Uh, you just decide like what you would like to add. Play around with the settings, and then when you're satisfied, I mean, you don't have to copy what I'm doing here. Then I'm gonna go to the top part of the packaging and do the same. I'm gonna go to the layer style and uh, add a few adjustments. Uh, now I'm going to group the two parts of the packaging that are above the bottles and I'm going to add a gradient uh, map and snap it to the folder. So you can go to layer, new adjustment layer and you find all of the adjustment layers. You can choose the ones that you need. Then once you select an adjustment layer, if it's above the folder you want to snap it to, it has to be like right above it. You put your mouse over the adjustment layer, you click Alt, and you go in between the two layers, and then this arrow comes up, you click on it, and it snaps that adjustment layer to that specific layer, and it just applies it to that layer. When you're done adding all your adjustment layers, <clears throat> select all the layers, group them into a group, Duplicate the group, merge group. Then select the shape that came out of this merge group to create a new layer with a black brush color the bottom of the selected area. Then deselect and move the layer over a little bit, blur, and we made our shadow. Then go back to the merge group selection tool, select just uh, the front part of the packaging, control J to duplicate, then go back to the merge group layer, select uh, the side of the bottle, control J. These two shapes, select them, flip vertically, and drag them down. Then with the free <coughs> transformation, uh, like I'm doing now, align them to the packaging. If you would uh, uh, flipped vertically one whole shape, you couldn't align it like this. You have to divide it in two parts. Once you are uh, done, you change the blending mode, lower the opacity, group them, add a layer mask, cover the bottom part so it kind of uh, fades out, and drag it underneath the grouped layers.